it's crazy because like I say, we don't have that here. Like it's very shocking that somebody got killed right here in front of the building. Neighbors in Miramar shake it up after a wild scene. A man is dead after his rental car was riddled with bullets. Police say the way the car jumped the curb and was unusually parked made it suspicious. CBS Force Peter Dent joins us from the Foxcroft uh, Fox Condominium Complex, which is right across the street from Miramar High School. Peter, does this case remain a mystery? That's right, Elliot. In fact, Miramar police at this point are stumped. They say the victim was found with no identification cards with him in that rental car, so they are taking other measures to try to identify him. This happened in the early morning darkness this morning when most people were asleep. It's crazy because, like I say, we don't have that here. Like. It's very shocking that somebody got killed right here in front of the building. A striking sight seen from Chopper 4 after a barrage of bullets are fired in this deadly shooting at Foxcroft Condominium. We have located dozens of, of uh, casings. Take a look at the victim's car. The windows were shattered. There are bullet holes in every door. Helena Toussaint is alarmed by this crime scene. It was a body in the car. The car had don't hit the gate like they tried to get out the gate. But it's a, you see it's the type of gate it is, they couldn't have got out the gate like that. Miramar police say the victim died at this scene. He was found behind the wheel of his black car just after 3 in the morning. The vehicle had jumped the curb, ending up against this fence. Right next to where the car stopped, there were dozens of shell casings on the ground, some of them even landing on top of a silver car parked here. The vehicle was, was already in that area. Um, it had jumped the curve and it was parked in an unusual manner and that's what made it suspicious. When they approached the vehicle, um, they noticed that there was, you know, a body inside. Miramar police say the victim had no identification cards with him in this rental car and the vehicle had been rented from out of town. Now detectives are trying to figure out who he was and what he was doing here. Toussaint has her own theory. It looked like somebody had already killed them and the car just kept rolling until it hit the gate. And like I say, if you live over here, you know that you can't get out no other way but the front way. The same way you come in, the same way you got to get out. Now, Miramar police have been looking for surveillance tape from nearby security cameras, but right now they do not have a description of a suspect or a motive in this case. If you can help, call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. There is a reward of up to $5,000 in this case. We'll be back at 6 in just one hour with an update. We are live in Miramar. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.